Uh, okay, moving on. Number, what is the best practice for the image? File name, the image with the keyword. The best practice for the image, again, if you're doing maps, is to use the you uh, or trying to rank locally or whatever, is to use the URL of an image that's already been published on your money site. So like if you've got a page, in this case, your general contractor's Fairfield CA page, whatever image you have on that page that's already been optimized, hopefully you've already optimized that image, the file name, the metadata, all of that stuff's been optimized, geotagged and everything, and it's been added to the page on your money site, then add the image through the URL. Because then what Press Advantage does is it publishes the press release using the source URL for the image source uh, from your money site page. So now you've got your, your website, your, the photo that is a media file on your website, which has now been syndicated out to hundreds of press release, uh, you know, uh, published on a bunch of different news and media sites. So it's pushing credit back to your money site image URL, if that makes sense. So that's what I do. Uh, and then likewise, if you, if you don't want to, if you're not linking back to, you know, you can also use an image from, a, from Google My Business, for example, from your Google My Business profile. You can embed an image from there using the image URL there. So just think about where it is that you're trying to push the power to. If it's all trying to push to the power to the money site landing page, so the location landing page, then use the image URL from that page. If it's that you're trying to push maps, grab an image from maps. Make sure it's been geotagged before you upload it, but then grab the URL from maps and use that as your embedded image URL. Does that make sense? And then for keyword, I just usually put whatever keyword I'm trying to optimize for. And then I put by like the letter uh, B Y and then the brand name so that I'm creating that association between the brand and the keyword. Any comments on that? Yeah, one of my press releases will have my logo. Another one of my press releases will have the logo from the GMB. So it'll be, it'll create that relationship between my GMB logo and the logo on my website. And then I'll just keep adding images that are part of my entity from, from around the web. So however many press releases are in, in my stack, that's the number of images that are going to go out. They're all going to be related because I'm going to be claiming all of those in my same as information in the schema. The idea here is to reinforce all of these entity relationships that we're creating, all of these brand relationships that we're creating. So I'm gonna use my logo, I'm gonna use the GMB logo, I'm gonna use, use images from the GMB and images from my website and related images. So I'm gonna have between three and seven press releases before I start my next stack and so on until I rank it. And then if it, one of the ways that you, you can also do it is you can do like an image embed run to continue yeah. creating those relationships, to continue powering up your images and, and you'll pop an image carousel with your, so when someone does a brand search, you'll get that nice image carousel, you get a nice video carousel if you have videos. And then that adds, so the, the reason for this and, and why I like doing this is because people will often when they, when they look at you, if they're going to hire your service, they'll do a brand search. What is this company about? And when they go in, I only want them to see my stuff. Yeah. So I want to pop all that up for them. When they come, they, and you'll see people doing the brand search. When they come, they do the brand search and they see all everything that's related to you. Wherever they click, they're going to land on, on one of your properties. And if they click on it, hopefully they'll go to a CTA. So you're always trying to create a way for that person to convert. It's not just the idea of, of creating the relationship or whatever. There has to be like, a, a purpose behind all of this. And, and the purpose behind it all is to try to convert as many people as possible, trying to get them to click, trying to follow that, that, that call to action. Yeah. Yeah, and it's interesting. If you notice, if you, if you do a lot of GMB stuff, you'll notice there's a lot of brand searches that come in, in, in GMB insights, you'll see that a lot. And, and what I've kind of discovered is that, you know, and, and I guess this has been known, but it's, it's interesting to see it more and more and more recently. But um, I think a lot of people will, when they do like a generic search for, you know, keyword search for a service or whatever, and they find the company that they're going to contact. Uh, again, in my case, it's pretty much all tree service stuff now. So if they can't find a tree service contractor through a generic keyword search that they're going to call to request an estimate from, they oftentimes will go do a brand search before making the call. And so, the, and, and so it's really interesting, but in GMB insights, I see all the time now that brand searches are one of the top keywords that are used to trigger the maps listings. And 
it just makes you wonder like who's doing all these brand searches and it must just be that people are kind of being conditioned to go look at uh what else is being said about the company before calling them especially for contractors so so you agree marco yep yeah and so here's the other thing this is what i was talking about so here was an image just from big bamboo marketing example that was the url so you can see it's in the actual um you know domain but this could be the embedded image in the uh, press release. And then here was one that I just took from a, this is a GMB post from Semantic Mastery. And if you just click on a GMB post image and click uh, copy image address, that's what it looks like. And so you can also, and look at that, that's a Google user content domain. that's already been associated with your brand. Uh, it's tied to it because it knows where it's been placed. And so that's a very powerful thing to do as well. So those were really good questions, by the way. So we're gonna keep moving. 